47. Oppression. The decision a time of adversity means that a man is being held back by inferior men and circumstances and prevented from achieving his goals. Ordinarily, this means failure and misfortune for a man. Nevertheless, a superior man can cause such an occasion to have a successful outcome, if he responds to the oppression in the right way. When reversals and oppression come to a man of character, he does not lose hope. He keeps a positive attitude, and this is the source of his later success. Such an attitude enables him to align himself with any movement that comes his way that might be advantageous. If his attitude is one of doom and gloom, positive opportunities are almost certainly ignored. Everything appears to such a man as just another door to disaster. But if, in spite of the adverse circumstances, a man remains alert to the slightest glimmer of something constructive any little thing that might enable him to advance his goals then he is able to discriminate between the little diamonds of hope and a dunghill of negativity and opposition. In this way, a positive mental attitude will become stronger than any circumstances he may be mired in changes the essence of existence, and a positive attitude will enable him to hitch his wagon to those beneficial elements that will help pull him out of the slough of despond. Of course, there is little to help the man who allows adverse circumstances to rob him of the vision that he seeks to achieve. But if reversals only cause a man to be put to a test, they actually strengthen him sharpen his reflexes, and intensify his determination to achieve his goals. If anything, this causes him to work harder, to focus his attention, and to sharpen his skills. All of this, as a consequence, turns him into a formidable player. Unfortunately, not every man has this strength of character. Times of adversity separate the great men from the inferior ones. The great men go on to prevail, to achieve success and good fortune, and they do this through honorable and honest means. The inferior man is not equal to the task, he accepts his failure, withdraws, and seeks a path that is less demanding. During the time of adversity, there is little to differentiate the great man and the inferior man. Both seem to be getting nowhere, both have little or no influence on those about them, and neither are able to make much of an impression. Therefore it behooves both to keep quiet. But the great man has within him the inner determination and the hope that will enable him to overcome this difficult time. He will see it through and he will rise above it. The maxim in a time of adversity, the superior man accepts the adverse time for what it is, but remains true to himself and inwardly not discouraged by it. He knows what he wants to achieve. He has a purpose, even though his intentions are denied him temporarily. This is the run of fate. But this is also an external thing and he does not allow it to affect his inner man. What he is not determined by external circumstances, and what he is remains unmoved by the vicissitudes of fate.